welcome to Ochiba Wolf Collection. I'm Ochi, a Sailor Moon fan and collector that married a skateboarder. Hi, I'm Kurt. Our worlds came together in July 2020 when Primitive Skateboarding released a full Sailor Moon collection. And we ended up buying the decks and we want to show you guys how to display them on a wall. We're going to be showing you guys two different ways in this video today. An easy, damage-free option and then a more permanent, secure option like the one we have behind us. So what do you say we uh, show them the quick, easy option first, the damage-free option for people who don't want to put holes in their wall? Let's do it. Let's do it. Can I have my name? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you let me have another man, huh? Just him. Just <laughs> So this damage-free option is going to be great for you folks out there who don't want to put any holes in your wall. It's also a really easy okay. way to hang a deck with materials you can probably find around your house. Okay. So Kurt, what do we need to get my man on the wall? First thing you're going to need is your board. Got it. Got Check. It. Next thing you'll need is some fishing line or a shoestring, zip tie, regular string, anything you can make a loop out of that'll allow you to hang the board from behind. Yeah, really anything that you can find. We previously used a shoestring for this one downstairs in my collection. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be what we're using, but we're going to be using a fishing line because that is the thinnest, most transparent option right. to showcase the graphic, which that's why people wear display boards. Exactly. So yeah. fishing line's probably your best bet, but you can use anything around the house if you don't want to spend any money. Next thing you'll need is some 3M command hooks. We're using the three pound style. The reason why we're using three pounds is because the board weighs about two and a half pounds. Mm -hmm. So you, you need at least that. But you can use anything three pounds and up. But if you want to use the same ones we're using, the link for these will be in the description down below. Next thing you'll need is some scissors. Just to cut the fishing line to length and cut off excess. You'll need something sharp, small. We use the thumbtack. And this is if you decide to keep the board in the plastic to display. And you, what you want to do is use that to poke the holes through the plastic and the bolt holes, whether it be the top or the bottom set. And you want to do that on the front and back of the board. Because we know you guys are probably collectors that are watching this video and you probably kept it wrapped in plastic. Because right. that's how you keep them minty. So you'll just need something to poke the holes through the plastic just to get that string or fishing wire or whatever through. That's an optional step. <laughs> if you unwrapped the board, you do not need a bump deck. Correct. That's all you need. It's yeah. going to be a real easy process and we're going to walk you through it step by step. Yep, here we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut some fishing line off this. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see, but we want to give ourselves plenty of length. Got it cut. Now we have our line. We're going to want to feed it through the front of the board first, the graphic side, because you're going to tie the knot on the back side of the board. You want to feed through both holes, flip the board over. You need this much length, and I'll show you why. Like if you're tying your shoes, give yourself the first little loop around knot, and you're going to want to have that stop just a few inches above, because that's where your, your hook's going to be, so you don't want to actually see the hook. It'll give yourself a little play. So once you do that, what you're going to want to do is make another one of those loops. And what's going to happen is that that's not going to want to stay tied in a knot. The fishing line is very slippery, so it wants to come loose. So you're going to want to pull that a little bit. And then what you're going to want to do, take your two excess things, wrap around your fingers like this, and pull it through like that. And you're going to want to kind of pull those two knots together the best you can. And those knots will hit each other, and it won't slip. There you'll have a knot that will hold. And from there, you'll want to cut your excess off. You have your loop for the board. So we flipped it over so you can see how the fishing line is transparent. So it does not obstruct the graphic and allows you to have something to hold the board up. Okay, so I'll show you how to set up your command hooks before you put them on the wall. Usually comes with excess strips, so if you need to redo it, you can. You peel that off and this is the side that sticks to your wall. All right, we're ready to put it on the wall. I'm really yep. excited. Okay, so you want to hold that one? Yes. It feels so important. This is kind of an important step. It can easily be overlooked. You want to make sure you kind of compensate for the length of loop that you made with the hook because wherever you put the hook, the board's going to be a little bit lower because of that. But you also want to make sure that you give yourself not too little, not too much, so you don't see the hook on the wall. So it's all you see is the board. That's a good tip. Off camera, I kind of eyeballed where I want this. So I'm going to take the hook, strip already off, ready to hang. Try to center it up best you can. Press it on there, make sure it's really, really good. So you want to make sure it's good and on there. You'll take your loop, and this is the, the important step. Try to, you want to do it off to the side so you can see, you can't see the angle we're at, but you can see that we're hanging it up. Now you have your board hung up. You barely see the fishing line, and you do not see your hook. And you can adjust 
If you need it to be straighter, it can be, it can be straighter. It's kind of free hanging, so there you are. More on the wall. This is the most easiest, simplest, cheapest way oh, yeah. to hang a deck on the wall. Correct. It doesn't get much better than that. Huh? Job done. But maybe you want a more permanent solution. Maybe you don't mind putting holes in your wall. Right. We got an option for you too. Yep. Hey everybody, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. We really would appreciate it. And then also share this video with somebody who may want to know how to hang a skateboard deck up on the wall too. I'm sure that it would be helpful to a lot of you guys out there. So for your more permanent solution, you're going to need some floating skateboard deck display wall mount kits. We ordered these off Amazon so you can choose your quantity there. Okay, so we'll have the link to these down there in the description below. And basically this just helps secure the deck on the wall, right? Right. Yep, so you'll need these. This makes it look really cool and it is a permanent solution. These definitely go straight through your wall. Right. It does come with what is called a wall anchor. So you can hang these up wherever you want. It doesn't have to be through a stud. This little plastic piece right here, you want to make a little hole in the wall. You can do it just even with the screw that comes with it. Just pop a hole in the wall, tap this in with a hammer into the wall to where this piece right here is flush with your drywall you have this already in the wall and when you start to tighten this screw what this will do is act as an anchor for that screw and it won't let it just keep spinning and it'll eventually we'll pull this tight to the wall and it'll hold yeah and that's if you just want to just mount that directly to a and wall we are going to do it through a board and we'll show you exactly how it looks like later it's going to look really cool yeah, it'll look really nice okay so this is the area right here that we are going to hang the decks in a more permanent solution kurt is going to secure them to the wall so he has one two by four down here that he has painted the same color as our wall. This is an optional step. You could also do it just directly onto the wall, but Kurt is just making it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Right. What we have is our two by four. I cut it to length already to fit the spacing we have for the wall. And I went ahead and marked off spacing for our board. You can see my marks on here. Yeah, cause how many decks down. are we hanging up on here? This is gonna set up for six boards for the full set of the current Primitive Sailor Moon collab. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is drill the holes for the screws that are going to secure the two by four to the wall. I've already marked where my studs are on the wall. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna drill a hole all the way through this board with the screws that are gonna go all the way into the wall. Okay, I can feel the screw coming through the back, so I'm gonna back this off a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on my other mark spot that I just drilled. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to drill holes in the board for these floating skateboard deck display wall mount kits. And I've already got one open. I have my screw pushed through the plastic already. That's gonna be what's going to secure the plastic here to the board here. I have this marked out in six spots. Okay, so now what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and install all six of our wall mounting kit uh, brackets to the board before I put it up on the wall. It makes things a lot easier. Here we go. All right, Kurt got them all in, and this thing is ready to go on the wall. I already have my screws preset into the board, my studs marked on the wall. Here we go, we're gonna get it up on the wall. Okay, so now the step is poke your holes. We have our thumbtack through the plastic on the graphic side of the board and on the back side of the board to allow the little screws to go through. So all we do, poke the hole, poke the hole, it's poke, not meant anymore. Don't poke yourself like I just did. <laughs> poke your hole, poke your hole. It's now time to put the board on the hook. I'm so excited. So you want to line up your two holes on the back with your two holes here. Again, they're spaced perfectly apart for this actual purpose. So you poke the holes in the plastic. Now it's up on the wall. Woo! And you're going to want to take the two little black screws that we just took back off, like these are here. And you'll just screw those back on the face, like that. And now the board is up on the wall. Kurt, it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think? Did he do a great job or what? I'm so super impressed. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so this is not its final setup. We will eventually have it to where it's just 
Moon, the other Inner Guardians, and one team board up here. And yeah, like he said, we're still waiting on Venus, Mercury, and Mars. Correct. So once we get those from Primitive, that's what's going to look in the final lineup. You guys are going to notice we have two team decks up here. And the reason for that is one of them is for my bestie, Sin. She asked if Kurt would set her up a full, complete Sailor Moon skateboard. And that video is going to be coming next, so we hope you stick around and watch it. We want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And we also hope that it was helpful to you guys out there on how to hang up a deck. Because I know, personally, I got asked privately a lot on my Instagram messages on how to hang a skateboard deck because they know that I'm married to a skateboarder and he knows how to do that stuff. So we wanted to do this video for you guys. So we really hope it's helpful. Let us know which method you decide to use in the comments below. Yeah, and you know what? If you guys take a picture of how you displayed them, I would love to see it. So if you message me on any of my social media platforms, a picture of your Sailor Moon deck on the wall, I will also show it to Kurt. I'd like to see it. He would, he would. So if you guys enjoyed this video today and are not subscribed to the channel already, please consider subscribing. Got the little tiny cosmic heart subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen for you to easily click to subscribe. Or if you don't want to subscribe to this channel, but you appreciated this video and you want to treat us to a coffee. I do have a buy me a coffee page down there in the description as well. If you'd like to treat Kurt and I to some coffees. I like coffee. He, li he does. Keeps him awake because he wakes up early. That's it for this video. Thanks again for all of your support. We appreciate it.